Alrighty, YouTube friends. This is the video on the uh, Harbor Freight model number 69340. This is the MIG welding cart. This is going to be my review. We got the box opened here. Let's go ahead and get the parts out. Uh, okay, maybe not. I'll have to do it this way. We're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Bunch of parts, bunch of screws, brackets. Instructions. Oh, bet that's for the wheels, huh? What was my first guess? Alright. Alright. Right, let's open up these lovely crinkled instructions. And after we get them all straightened out, smoothed out see what we got here make sure we got all our parts 100 pound capacity capacity welding cart man my bottle's probably 100 pounds <laughs> all right let's see here assembly precautions use precautions assembly precautions assemble only according to these instructions improper assembly can create hazards really Wear ANSI approved safety goggles and heavy duty work gloves during assembly. Hmm. Keep assembly area clean and well lit. I guess it's well lit. Keep bystanders out of the area during assembly. Do not assemble when tired or when under the influence of drugs or medication. Wow, really? They got to put that in there? Weight capacity and other product capabilities apply to properly and completely assembled product only. Wow. Let's see. Page. Read entire important safety information section. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, let's see. Parts list. One top shelf. One, uh, let's see. One. Uh, Two, hook. Three, middle shelf. Four, left support. Five, bottom shelf. Six, caster. Seven, nut. All right, well, let's see what we got. We got the two wheels. Those are number 12. We got those. And let's see, number one is the top shelf. I'm assuming that's this. There's no marking on it. But, based off of the picture, I'm assuming that this is number one. And then, let's see, one. And number two is the hook. Yeah, I got the hook. And three, middle shelf. Which one's the middle shelf? Three. I'm assuming that's this one here in my hand. Four is the left. Support, okay. Five, bottom shelf. That's this big piece here. These are the supports. Number eight, let's see. Bolts, nine of them. Let's see, nine. We got uh, quantity, 33 bolts. 
And there's the chain. Yeah. And 14, back panel. 14. Oh, that's the back panel. Right. Oh. Back panel, there it is. Didn't see that. That's why you read the instructions. And Carter pins, washer wheel. Well, it looks like we got everything here. All right, so let's go ahead and get this put together. First things first. Put a wheel, number 12, on the end of the axle, 13. Secure it with a washer, number 11, and cutter pin, number 10. See figure A. Repeat for other side. All righty. Well, let's go ahead and set this over here out of the way. And set these out of there too. Along with the brackets. And all right, so let's go ahead. I've seen that shaft. Let's go ahead and put the wheels on, like they said. play on that and make they didn't make that really uh, a lot of play in that shaft for the wheels not really uh, you start putting weight in this uh, well we'll have to see well, I would have thought they could have gotten a better a little smoother transition to sleeve that so they could uh, let me uh, adjust this up a little bit. There we go. Um, could have had a little bit more, a little more. Uh, oh, don't want to lose that. So we got all these washers, two and two. Well, I got five washers. What I'm gonna do? Give me an extra five washer. Let's see here. Washers, four of them. Well, we got five. Must have gave us an extra one. All righty. Well, I guess there's really no way, uh, way. I'm assuming. This is gonna go like that. So let's, yep. That, well. Funny thing. Oh, there it is. There's one. <laughs> well, there's the Carter pin. Oh, there's the other one. All right. For a minute, I thought they were going to say, yeah, they what, gave you an extra washer, but shorted you on the Carter pin. But, but they didn't. There it is. It's there. We found it. Wouldn't surprise me if that happened because it's has happened before. All right, we'll get the Carter pin in there. As far as ease goes so far, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Wheel on. Yeah, I don't want that. Wait a 
things, but for a little life in me, why we got five washers? I don't understand. Five washers, but the instructions only show a washer on each side of the wheel. I'm going to bet you that you're supposed to put a washer on each side of the wheel. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's what you get, Chinese. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, double washer it. Inst instructions don't say to do it, but common sense, I would do it. So I'm basing it off of that. Why? Because otherwise if you didn't, the plastic wheel is going to dig into the side of the tube and then you're going to have the metal digging into the plastic and when you get any weight on here with your bottles and so forth it's going to chew the hell out of that plastic in a matter of time i can guarantee that so hence wheels for the rear now uh, it calls for the casters on the front. So, whoops. So we'll go ahead and put those on. Yeah. Interesting. They don't give you no washers. They give you the bolt, little tiny bolt, and the nut. And they don't give you any washers. So when you put this on, and tighten it down, this nut is going to dig into the hole because the hole is slightly larger than what these nuts are. It doesn't make no sense. Why they wouldn't give you a washer to put on that? Well, I can see a catastrophe happening. Let's see if I got any washers to put on this. any small washers for that so this is this disappoints me can't understand why they wouldn't put a washer on it And they got the bolts. If I'm understanding this correctly, and I am, they got the bolts going the opposite way. So if I do it the way they're saying, oops, now I understand. They're using the washer. They're using the bolt as the head on the bolt to be the washer. But now you got stuff on there. Oh well, well. I guess. Yeah. Guess I'm not an engineer, so. But to me, I would have uh, done it different. I would have uh, had it come from the top down and used the washer on it because. Knowing what I know with welders and weight, that a matter of time, this is just sheet metal, a matter of time it's going to chew up. 
the weight on these casters and stuff. That's probably why they only got 100 pounds for it. I guarantee my throttles probably weighs 100 pounds, so. But, oh well. No biggie. I guess if we have to modify it in time, we'll modify it. Oh, I got them all on here already. Oh, alrighty then. Drop that caster and pick that up. Oh. Yeah. Not much bigger either with that in the bolt. Oh. We'll do it their way. That's what the instructions say. Follow the instructions. Now, let me get some uh, wrenches and a socket. Bet they're metric. Who wants to bet their metric? Ten millimeter. If you said they were metric, you were right. Alrighty, we got it all put together, and uh, got to put the chains on now. It's all bolted together. Uh, let me tell you, I really don't like the idea of this. Um, the instructions really, really suck. And, uh, let me pan this up a little bit more. See the there. It's all put together. Throwing the chains on it. And, uh, all right. Well, there she is. The Harbor Freight model nine three what was it nine three <clears throat> I'm sorry six nine three four zero now instructions F Qua easy to put together oh man easy to put together if you can understand. Uh, 
know, and, and just look at a picture and see how it's fine. If you're mechanically inclined, you know, you ain't gonna have no problem. Put her down on the floor. Ugh. Go, let's swing this around. MIG welder and uh, set it up on there. Uh, we've got the uh, Mapco MIG welder. It's right on there. Sure. Why doing that? Huh. Uh, we got the uh, micro welder on it, and uh, go ahead and put the. This is a uh, arc welder and MIG welder. I'm going to do a video on that, um, but we're not going to we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, ground clamp, gas hose, and the electrode for arc welding. Set that down there and. Put the gas on up here for right now. So there you have it. The Harbor Freight MIG welder cart. And as I said, I'll do a, a video on the Matco welder. This is the Matco, uh, Mac, I'm sorry, Matco MP240. And I'll do a video on that when we get it up and running. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys. Uh, like my uh, channel, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment. Um, as far as the cart goes, instructions, F, cart in general, looks okay. I mean, for the price, um, quality of the material, that ease of putting it together was real, I mean, I'll give it a 10. Um, we'll just see how it works. Alrighty, thanks a lot, people. We'll see you next time around.